Aiden Wojciechowski's Northwoods League journey began unlike most, here in the press box at Capco Park. But little did he know over the course of two years, his journey would shift from here to here as a relief pitcher for the Lakeshore Chinooks. So as the 2017 season winds down, we had a chance to sit down with Wojciechowski to talk about his Northwoods League experiences. This is what he had to say. Hello, Chinook fans. Matt Mendel alongside Aiden Wojciechowski, one of the Lakeshore Chinook relief pitchers and a one-time webcast intern back in the summer of 2015. Aiden, let's begin with, with that journey because you were here, as mentioned, a couple of summers ago, and you were behind the camera. You were behind the scenes. What prompted you to go after that kind of an internship? Well, I've always wanted to do something in the line of sports. And actually, when I got the internship, I wasn't looking at baseball. I wasn't even playing varsity baseball at my school when I was an intern here. I was playing JV. Um, but I have always wanted to do something with sports, maybe broadcasting. And this is a great opportunity for me. 15 minutes down the road and thought, hey, it'd be a great opportunity. Emailed Eric and sure enough, got the internship and kind of went from there. What were your takeaways from that internship? Um, well, got to work on the camera, got to direct, got to meet some great talent like yourself, and uh, just had a good summer watching baseball. And at the end of the summer, I was like, you know what? Maybe someday, if if it progresses like it ended up happening at school, maybe I could play for the Chinooks. And sure enough, two years later, here I am living out a dream. So you had that thought a couple years ago that maybe you could be in that uniform here at Camp Gold Park. Absolutely. I, I played JV, as I said, my freshman year this summer I was here. And uh, my coach was kind of prepping me for, hey, maybe next year you have a bigger role. And I thought, well, if that role can grow my sophomore year, can grow my junior year, maybe that summer, this summer, I could be out on the field and it ended up happening. Is there anything that you learned from watching the guys that summer? Anything that maybe you, you took in from, from watching the talent on the field? Oh, well, one thing I noticed, uh, especially this year, a lot of the guys have that long flow growing. <laughs> and so I thought, hey, maybe I'll grow out my hair. So when I was here, I had a, a buzz cut and now I kind of have a little little hair on top. So, but yeah. So you go back from the, the webcast internship of 2015 and eventually varsity baseball with the Port Washington Pirates. How did Loris come about as being the, the college of your choice? Well, actually, I went to college to play football. So I wasn't going to make it past D3, but I knew I could compete at a D3 level. So I looked at schools that I could play football and I could have a broadcasting major. And Loris is known for their media studies program. So I picked them, played football, and, and started studying media. And then uh, 10 days before the baseball season, I actually I talked to the head baseball coach and said, hey, I'm a lefty. Here's my stats from high school. What do you think about giving me a tryout? Got a tryout, made the team, and the rest is kind of history. And you've kind of stuck to baseball now, correct, as opposed to football? Yep. Well, I guess, like I said in that interview, I, uh, I got sick of bashing my head in playing football. I was a fullback, and every day at practice, just kicking out defensive, defensive end and defensive lineman. I was like, man, this is not for me. So uh, joined baseball and, and stuck with that, liked the coaches, liked the players on that team, and had a good time and stuck with baseball from then on out. So you're at Loris. What did you do with the summer of 2016? What did you do during that summer? Obviously, you're a webcast intern here two years ago. Now you're playing for the Chinooks this summer. What did you do last summer? I was actually an umpire. So watching the, uh, watching the North Coast League umpires, like, hey, maybe I'll do that next summer. But uh, I was umpiring Little League baseball games, and then I was a summer school teacher at my local middle school. So, so what can't you do when it comes to the game of baseball? You can broadcast. You can, can run a camera. You can pitch. You can umpire. What, what can't you do? Can you manage? There's, well, actually, that's my, my next career path. I'd like to be, as I said, the next Eddie Morgan and hopefully go into college coaching and be a D3 coach somewhere, maybe coach for the Chinook someday. Speaking of Eddie, what's it like to play for Eddie Morgan, a guy that, again, you worked side-by-side side with, so to speak, when you were a webcast intern, he's still part of the coaching staff, but now you play for the guy. It's a lot of fun to uh, get the other side of Eddie. So I saw him as an intern, now I see him as a player. And he's actually from Sockville, or he lives in Sockville now, and I'm from Port, which they're right next to each other. So we had a connection over the YMCA and, and his youth sports that his son's playing, so little things like that. It's cool to see it, like a, a player's perspective of Eddie after seeing him as an intern two years ago. You know, I'm going to bring it full circle in a moment, but one thing I, I want to make sure we mention is, is besides the fact that you were an intern here, man, you could sing the national anthem. <laughs> and, and, and that was something that came about in the summer of 2015, a few occasions that you and, and siblings would be out there singing the national anthem. How did that come about? Well, my brother's a music teacher. And I've always sang throughout high school, and I'm actually the president of our a cappella group at Loris. Um, so I've always had a passion for singing. And one of the games when I was an intern, somebody didn't show up for the national anthem. And just through talking with other interns, they're like, well, Aiden's a singer. Have him do it. And I was like, all right, I'll do it. So I did that. And then uh, 
a couple of weeks later, uh, another person canceled, and I called my brothers up, and we have a, a little trio we do national anthem. Um, we sang it, and it was it was a lot of fun being out there singing the national anthem. And I tried to get it this year as a player in my uniform to sing it, but uh, they're all booked. So if somebody cancels, maybe I'll be in, or maybe I'll get the call up. Do you guys have a go-to song, not the national anthem, but I mean, if somebody said, hey, sing this, do you guys have a go-to? Uh, take me out to the ball game. No yeah, that's uh, that's really the only other one we know. We don't have a lot of time to sit down and practice. We're all busy doing our whatever we do, but take me out to the ball game. We know that one and, and the national anthem. So. so let's fast forward to 2017. You're pitching for what, the Sheboygan A's or getting the opportunity to pitch up in Sheboygan. You had another internship, though, too, and that was... Not related to baseball. <laughs> it was actually at Arbon, so I got a, an opportunity. Was doing a lot of cold calls and, and sales calls to people, trying to sell that stuff. So uh, a lot of learning experience for sure, and uh, just a way to get some income as well. So you're selling like lipstick and like eyeliner, that kind of stuff, or how did that kind of like what what exactly was that in, 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 internship involved? Well, actually, it was Arbon equipment. So oh. it's loading dock equipment. Okay. So not the lipstick and eyeliner, that stuff, but I was selling uh, loading dock. So when shipments come into companies, the loading dock area, that's what we were selling. Um, and yeah, it was just a lot of cold calls, a lot of getting coffee, doing things like that, but learning experience for sure. And I definitely got some experience in the sales. A little better. I thought we were going to try to have to explain how you went from selling lipstick to now throwing a 90 mile hour fastball. So you're pitching for the Sheboygan A's. You have this internship. How did the Lakeshore Snooks come about? Well, actually, um, at school, we played against Iowa, and I got a chance to pitch and pitched pretty well and emailed the management here and said, hey, here's what I did. We played against Iowa. I feel really confident that I can compete against D1 type talent. And I was an intern here two years ago, and I think It'd be really cool if I could get an opportunity to play. And they're like, oh, yeah, we remember you from your internship, but we're looking for D1 to D2 athletes first, which is totally understandable. And uh, they said, keep in touch. Maybe in late, later in the year, we'll need a new arm. And sure enough, somebody, I don't know, somebody got sent home, either injury, it happens all the time. Um, but I got the call and came here two days later and I'm living the dream. And you told me before you signed that contract, or maybe right after, but before you were in uniform in the, the bullpen area, you came here to watch the, the game the night before at Camp Gold Park. What was kind of going through your mind? What were the feelings that you were feeling as you're sitting there realizing that, hey, you're now a member of the Lakeshore Snooks? Absolutely. I was excited, a little nervous. I looked up at the scoreboard, and Nick Campy's throwing 92 miles an hour. I'm like, ooh, <laughs> I can't quite get up that fast. But uh, I was really excited to, to be able to be on the other side of the field and, and be playing for the Chinooks and hoping to get a home debut of Eddie – you're watching this. I'd love to pitch at home in front of the home crowd. So we got the power of the video. You might add with Eddie, but you look at at your your couple of weeks or a few weeks now with the Lakeshore Snooks. I mean, is it is it still kind of surreal? Even though you've been out there a few innings here and there, is it still kind of surreal that, that this is happening? That you've come again from a webcast intern to a actual Lakeshore Snook pitcher. Oh, absolutely. Every time we go to a new ballpark, I feel like a rookie because I'm sitting there with my video, like video in the field and, and getting some pictures of the stands. And that I'm that guy. I'm that, that rookie or the noob, I guess you could say. But uh, yeah, it's, it's surreal every time we go away and every time we play at home, there's two or three people that I know. And it's just a really cool experience. I love signing autographs, talking to the fans. I just think it's really cool, especially being a fan, then being an intern and now getting a chance to kind of pay it back and, and uh, say hi to the fans. It's really a really cool experience for me. Is there any advice that you've gotten so far from your time with the Chinooks that you're going to be able to take back with you at Loris that may help you as you continue with your Loris baseball career? Absolutely. Uh, I learned that velocity is really not that important. If you can throw strikes and, and hit your spots, you're going to be all right. Um, but little things like holding the runners and, and just tips from the D1 guys that they've gotten from their playing day. I've learned some arm care stuff that can help me with my, my arm health next year. So just little tips I picked up from the guys and, and funny stories I get to share with them too. It's, it's a lot of fun. So to wrap it all up, big picture, what do you hope to do going forward outside of Lake Shores Snooks once Loris is done? What, what's your career goal? Obviously, we've, we've learned that you're a jack-of-all-trades. You can do it all. I mean, you, you go out there and you'll 
find a way to get it done. But but what do you want to do? What what do you foresee yourself doing in the future? Um, well, I'm going to try to be a, a head baseball coach. So anywhere at D three school, D two school, whatever I can get, I I want to be a head baseball coach. Coming for Eddie. I, <laughs> not coming for him, but yeah, yeah. I'd uh, I'd love to be his assistant someday or, or something like that. But just work my way up to eventually getting a head coaching job, and then if if an opportunity arises in the Northwoods League, that'd be a cool summer spent as a head baseball coach for the Northwoods League. But yeah, coaching is kind of my career path right now, and if that doesn't work out, then I'll I'll try media. I'm a big Colts fan. Maybe uh, try and get an internship with the Colts or something like that, and then work my way up there. So and play for them at some point too, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was my dream when I was little, but that's out of the picture now. But well, Aiden, it's great having you back here. It's great to see you back here. First time since 2015 when he was a webcast intern. Thanks a lot for your time and continued success. Thanks for having me. This is this is awesome too. It was a lot of fun. So appreciate it.